Okay. How you doing, my friend? Hey, All right. So, for everybody on YouTube, tell them where you found okay. us. Uh, YouTube. Okay. Com. Okay. You saw us on on YouTube videos, right? Yes. And you've had these kind of problems. Now we're looking at your left armpit area, the left axilla. Okay. That's what we're gonna call this. All right, Jane. You're okay if we video you for uh, for you our YouTube fans, and so more people can learn about hydradenitis separativa, right? Yeah. Because that's what you have. You have an underlying autoimmune condition called hydradenitis separativa, and basically what's happening is your own immune system is attacking your skin. And so you have a chronic inflammatory problem that's occurring. I'm going to need another one. Please. Okay. Yeah. So you have a chronic inflammation that's attacking the skin. It's leading to breaks in the skin, and bacteria are getting in there and leading, getting, uh, you're getting infected. Okay, and that's kind of what's going on here. And I realize this is pretty sore, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, now if I'm hurting you, you tell me. I'm trying to be as gentle as I can. I just want to kind of paint the area with some betadine. I might, I might feel my finger up here. I'm just feeling clearly there, there, here, and then down here. This is a lot of a lot of real estate affected by this abscess and this track. Down at Hobby, you came a long way. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna need a scar excision. That's what they're gonna do. Skin graft. You might need some skin grafting too. This has gotten pretty serious for you. All right, we're ready. We're going to make our first incision, and then we're going to do a culture. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. You feel anything? Not really. I like that. That's good. Okay. Ready for a little culture? Get down in there. Okay. Send that. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Drain it. Yeah. Surprisingly, it doesn't have very as, as much pus in there as I thought it would have. I've been, I've been squeezing for the last, I want to say, eight months. Yeah, you've been squeezing it a lot, yeah. huh? And it's just kind of gra kind of working out a lot. Yeah. 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 I appreciate that. That's nice of you. That's not bad, right, Jay? And I use hot rags. Hot yeah. rags help. So you're doing a good job. You're keeping the infection under control. You got a lot of scar tissue mm -hmm. in there. That is just really most of what we're feeling here is keloid or scar tissue, my friend. And keloid is basically just abnormal scar tissue that we see more often in persons of color than non, but anybody can get them. Mm -hmm. You've just got pockets in here that need to be opened up a little bit. But these painful nodules. They're more from the hydradenitis separativa than they are from infection. Actually. Yeah. You feeling any pain? A little sting. Did you feel a little sting? Yeah, I feel a sting like that. Right there, we won't go there anymore then. I was more worried about these parts down here. And uh, just making sure you don't, I mean, these feel fluctuant. These feel like they have pus in them, but they don't. They just yeah. had a very little bit of pus in there. So we're gonna stop this side. And we're gonna go ahead and pack these. And then we'll go on to the other side. I'm gonna set my scalpel. So you got most of the areas, correct? Most yeah, I opened them all up, but there was very little pus that came out. Okay, that's because of, because of what I've been doing. Most likely, yeah. And the antibiotics too. Yeah. So just about a year or so ago, these things just started happening, huh? Uh, well, maybe it's a longer. long story, but yeah. Actually, I've been dealing with this since I was 19. Now I'm 30. In my 30s, early 30s. Okay, so it's been going on a long time. Exactly. And Except you, it's just started happening on the dog pits. It just started. Yeah. So you had them in the groin area. Exactly. First, yeah. the thigh area. This, this well. It's definitely not any fun, I'll tell you. I sure understand. Uh, more fluctuant. But it's, more, it's, it's a little bit hard. It's not tender. It's, it's right. just started. Right. Good. Right there, and I think we're okay on this one. I don't think we need to put any pack in there. All right, so basically we've opened opened these. We've drained what little pus there was. We've packed them so these can heal from the inside out. So we're going to stop now on the left side, and we're going to switch over to the right side, okay? All right. All right, my friend. Got dizzy. Are you dizzy? Yeah. Are you taking your Meta 7? Yes. Right. I always have so much energy. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Gilmore fans. This is Watson. I've been doing some editing lately for the channel, and I was surprised to discover that Dr. Gilmore has his own brand of multivitamins. I'm really into vitamins and supplements for sports, and he was kind enough to send me a sample to try for myself, so I'm going to review them today. The multivitamin is called Meta 7, because it has 7 vitamins. Makes sense. I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the 7 ingredients 
and then tell you about my experience with it this past week. So, I intentionally avoided Dr. Gilmore's and others' testimonials because I wanted to do my own research and approach it with an open mind. Number 1. B12. B12 is in a lot of energy drinks and supplements, including 5-hour energy. Almost 40% of people are B12 deficient. It's known to provide a boost of energy. There are four different types of B12, and they're not all equal. The one you'll find most often in supplements and energy drinks is called cyanocobalamin. I think I'm saying that right. It's easily and cheaply synthesized, but the catch is it has a cyanide molecule attached to it that your body has to detach and process before you can get to the good stuff. It's a very small amount of cyanide, but it's still your body has to expend resources and energy to get rid of it, so it seems like if there was a better alternative, you might as well go with that, which is what Dr. G did. Meta 7 has the more stable and bioavailable methylcobalamin, which also happens to be quite a bit more expensive to make, but I'm going to say it's probably worth it. B6 is a nice complement to B12. It helps with neurotransmitters, mental health, libido, your sleep-wake cycle, appetite regulation. It's a good one. On to vitamin D. It's thought that almost a billion people in the world are vitamin D deficient. We're built to make it from the sun, so it's a lot harder to get from food and supplements. People with darker skin and the elderly are at higher risk of being vitamin D deficient. Magnesium. So the first three might have seemed like obvious additions to a multivitamin, but magnesium seems to be highly underrated for how important it is. From an athlete's perspective, the benefits that stand out to me are muscle and nerve function, metabolism, and protein synthesis. Chromium. This one's super important too, and I think often overlooked, but you only need small amounts of it. I feel like chromium is one of those synergy minerals that plays well with others. It also tends to be pricey and hard to get from food. Broccoli is probably the best source of it, but to get to your daily value, you'd have to eat something like seven cups of broccoli. That's a lot of broccoli, even if you like broccoli, which I do, but I'm not eating that much of it. The next two ingredients don't have a daily value assigned to them yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if alpha lipoic acid became much more popular in the near future. It's an antioxidant found in and made by the body and is in just about every cell. It attacks free radicals, and unlike vitamin C, which is another great antioxidant, and is water soluble, alpha lipoic acid is water and fat soluble, so it's used all over. And last but not least, coenzyme Q10, which helps in metabolism to convert food to energy. It's supposed to help immune function, increase male fertility, and it's even being evaluated as part of treatment for Parkinson's disease. So yeah, check out the description. I'm sure there's a link down there. Thanks for watching, and uh, you know, sorry I didn't have any gross pimple popping for you in this video, but we've got plenty in others, so subscribe and check it out. See you next time. Watson out.